Hello everyone, I'm Michael. And I'm Justin. We're Prego Italia, living our Italian dream. We're American expats, formerly from California. That's what we are. Now <laughs> living full time in beautiful Scalay, Italy. But before we go any further in this video, you guys, just since it's right at the beginning, go ahead and if you've not done so, there's a little button down here to remind you to subscribe. We have realized in the analytics that 60% of you guys who are watching our channel haven't done so yet. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's the easiest way to help this channel grow and it's free it's free to hit subscribe whether you're doing it on your television laptop phone whatever you're watching on just one little button click. we appreciate it helps us tremendously and helps our channel grow and go ahead and also click that like button if you like the videos once again it helps the channel grow so thank you so much thank you we appreciate it we love you all Speaking of love, I am in love, love, love with today. Yes, we have the heat gorgeous. wave has broken. Yay, we are at normalized <laughs> temperatures, like Fahrenheit, like high 80s, low 90s Fahrenheit. So Beautiful. can't complain about that. Beautiful breeze. Look at the beach behind us, glorious. Everyone's enjoying today. You can't get enough. We are out and about like full on. Yesterday it was so hot, like one whole. 104 Fahrenheit, we were like indoors just choking in the AC. So I will and say it's actually kind of funny because up until today we thought it was going to sort of be warm <laughs> all week. And so we were like, oh God, what are we going <laughs> to, what's our episode this weekend going to be? What are we going to do? Oh, today this we were is out sitting so home much, in the couch. <laughs> you know, we've had so much time out with friends and you get to meet some new friends in this episode. And yeah. We're just having a great time. And and we're very happy to uh, say that our um, friends that we're going to introduce in this video, you guys, are friends that can help you yeah. live your own Italian dream. So exactly. stay, tuned stay tuned and tuned. find out how they can help you do that. Beautiful summer in Scalia in all of its glory. Lidos are rocking nice waves today, but what a refreshing breeze. And the bus. <laughs> you didn't burn, Michael? That wasn't you? No, that was <laughs> What a pretty day, huh? Yes, it's beautiful. We're at our favorite little lookout point here. I will say the one thing that I always have to debate to me when we're at this lookout point is the waves hitting the rocks down there. I just find it so... Yep. Some days it's Hypnotic. smooth as silk on the sea, and today we have a nice, not so smooth. Not a good day for swimming, but an absolutely gorgeous day for enjoying the breeze. The view never gets old though. And yes, you see the tennis court down there. And this is the backside of the beautiful hotel. Grand Rose that people enjoy staying at. It's just a beautiful day. And we're still in July and we're just really rocking with the tourist season early, aren't we, Mike? Yeah, yeah. So I was talking um, to friends about that and I said I think the reason why is because um, you guys know we moved here in 2021 yeah. during um, the pandemic. pandemic. And last year, people were still sort of more remembering on the pandemic than they are now. Now it seems like everybody's so forgotten that I think one. <laughs> this year, people were just like, you know what, we need to be here. Yeah. Right <laughs> and everybody and their mothers out around the world traveling this year. So. Definitely beautiful. It is. Today is just perfection. And Love another it. Another reason I'm loving the sea today, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but. You've got like basically three different shades of blue. Right there is there. a beautiful turquoise, right there. It's and then so pretty. Further back, you've got the royal blue. The sapphire. And, and then the sort of right up here, you have a grayish blue, which well, is because it's picking up the center. Yeah. But right there, you get that beautiful aquamarine. Perfection. Beautiful, beautiful day in Santa Maria del Cedro. Speaking of beautiful, we're out with our friend Lucia today. <laughs> yes, and her boss, Marco, and his beautiful wife. And we are enjoying some lovely treats here at Daniela. This is the Santa Maria del Cedro version of Daniela. They're also, as you know, in Scalea. And delicious treats and cookies and coffees. And Michael got a little cheesecake, so cute. Cappuccino. Yeah. 
cappuccino. I got a Coca-Cola Zero with this cute little lemon cake. So delicious. And what a beautiful... Are you spoiled by your view having your treats out here by the sea? Oh my God, it's amazing. Just have a look. So I know. Look at... All you see are amazing. It is a beautiful day. We are so spoiled by a beautiful breeze. A wonderful cool weather today. Hope it stays for summer this nice, huh? Wasn't yesterday so hot and oppressive? It was so hot. It was. Oh, it was unbelievably hot. And look at the cutest little coffee. What is that? Is that a macchiato? Or? Yes. It is so adorable, the little cups. Never get over how cute they are. It's like little Barbie cups. These cookies are lovely. I love cherry jam. And these are amazing. I always take my chance when I come here. <laughs> and with your figure, that's probably all you have. You're so thin. It's like well, I don't need two buses. <laughs> that's the secret. Hey, you're in Italy, so you work it off with all your all, all your busy work walking, right? So, yeah. Lovely. Well, everyone enjoy. It's nice to have such good company. So lovely, beautiful day. Hey, everybody. We know a lot of people always ask us about realtors in the area that speak English and that are nice and trustworthy and that can help yes. you with all of your Riviera del Cedro needs. And we have actually a new friend, Lucia. She speaks perfect English. And we actually met her through our friends, Chris and Pete, um, yes. mutual friends. And so we thought, hey, we want to introduce everybody to Lucia. And if you're looking for someone very helpful to help you shop for your properties, um, she speaks FMM perfect FMM English. FMM yeah. <laughs> so we are at FMM Mobiliari. And we just uh, came by to say hi today. So this hi. is Hi. Hi, guys. Is My it? name is Lucia. And I had the pleasure to have these guys <laughs> here to visit us today. And as I said, we have a real estate agent here in Santa Maria del Cerro. And uh, he was actually looking for somebody that speaks English. Yay. So I'm happy to help him out. For any suggestions or any help, you can go to us. Our agency is FM Immobiliare. And the owner. Marco Bernardo. He speaks only Italian and his wife, Claudia, Marco. Yeah, they don't speak they don't speak English, that's why I'm here. That's right. <laughs> Thanks for coming here. Thank you for being yeah. here. Yeah. And we've had such a blast. And you how many languages do you speak? So I speak English and French. As I was explaining to Michael and Justin, I told them a little bit about my story. I've been um, actually I'm born in Germany. My mom is from South Africa, Cape Town. My dad was from Santa Maria del Cerro. So what happened is when I was tiny, usually Italians used to be to find work in Germany. That's why myself and my younger sister are born in Germany. I used to speak English and I used to speak German. Then my father decided to come back because he loved Calabria. That is why. But the only thing is that I wasn't speaking Italian because <laughs> actually my father spoke dialect. So I had to go to, 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 in Germany to a school, uh, studying Italian for one month, it was actually crazy. So once year, obviously it was the result, but in school they had only French and English, so I forgot German. <laughs> <laughs> Not practicing German, I forgot it. By, and by the way, I started to study French, so now I speak English, French, and obviously Italian. Wow, also, look at you guys. That's awesome. So yeah, I'm here to help you guys, right. whatever you need. Very lovely lady. Thank you so much. Yes, she's Thank so you. sweet. She knows the area, so if you're looking for help, Lucia and the gang here can help you out. Bye-bye. Beautiful drive today for lunch up to Mayera. We're with our lovely friend Lucia. She's so pretty today. Look at that gorgeous outfit. Love that color on you. And her boss, Marco and wife Claudia. It's so lovely. And look at the sculpture. They were just saying the lovely restaurant they brought us to. The um, owner, Alija, did this beautiful sculpture. A giant chair. And you go stand next to it so we see the hyper. So look how huge this is. You look like a little itty bitty boy. <laughs> So literally a giant chair. That is the, just the most unique, coolest thing. So if, if a giant chair, <laughs> so very cool. And then they have this globe. Oh, that's awesome too in stone. And look at that cool music symbol. Wow, this is some cool artwork he does. Oh, I see a statue under here. So very artistic owner of this restaurant. So beautiful grounds, lovely. That I love this, that's so cool. Oh, nice. This is beautiful, too. Look at everything. Art everywhere. 
So this is our first time here and it looks stunning already for the artwork. Ah, the sunflowers. It's so cool. Beautiful patio here. And look at this beautiful courtyard. Okay, so the owner did all the, the stone and sculpture work. That is amazing. Columns. Something, oh wow. Michael's gonna be happy here with all this bright colored art. Beautiful, the flowers, what a stunning location. And they have an outdoor patio. I'm sure at night this must be hopping and look at the sunflowers. And this looks like a petrified tree. I've done art with that. That's amazing. And a pyramid. So cool. This looks like a nice place for a wedding. A patio area. And they're just opening, of course. We're here early. <laughs> yes, everybody knows by now. And we're here with real Italian friends. So. Even they're here early, so not just us. Lovely in the hydrangeas. So pretty. Very beautiful. Salve! <laughs> and another patio. I'll go ahead and show everybody this one too. Another covered area. Gorgeous. Stunning. of the art and of the owner. Very beautiful. Well, we will show you the wonderful food and everything coming up ahead. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Maurizio. Oh, is he the owner? For, yes. And Aligia Restaurante yes. is absolutely gorgeous. We have a beautiful view here on the patio. It's a nice breezy day. We have all the beautiful shrubbery and gorgeous garden view. Beautiful view with such pretty <laughs> ladies too. And Marco, you're handsome as well. But uh, we wanted to share, they also have a bed and breakfast here at this location. So that's a nice option in Miera here to stay. And the restaurant's glorious. We can't wait to show you the food. And we met Maurizio, the two brothers that own it, and Angelo, he is the artist. And we will hopefully get to meet him as well soon because I'm just impressed with his beautiful sculptures. Yes. Isn't it lovely? It is beautiful here. It is very inspiring. It is gorgeous. What a nice place for him to get to display all this beautiful work. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Add the ambiance to this nice restaurant. <laughs> well, we will show everybody the yummy food ahead. And wow, what a special service. Everything, <laughs> the starters are already out. Wow, look at this beautiful spread. It's amazing. Oh, it looks just amazing. It does. Oh. Beautiful. Well, lovely. There's those famous peppers. Love yes. those. And fried zucchini flowers, I see. Oh, everything looks so beautiful. Amazing. Looks so good. Delicioso. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, well, dig in, everybody. Okay. <laughs> Zucchini flower out of this world. Everything is amazing. The potatoes. Oh, just in love with this. Isn't it delicious? So delicious. Very good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yum. I just can't get over it. I wish it you were here. Good. And this is where we wish we had smell-o-vision. Yes. It's just stacking it. And this is Angelo. He is the co-owner with his brother, and he is a wonderful artist. We got to see all of his beautiful work. Tell him I thought the sculptures and stone sculptures were amazing, and it adds such great ambiance to his restaurant. Very nice to meet you. So he also um, exposes, and the last time they did it in Matera. Oh, nice. All his sculptures, so yeah, it's great. And we should have a look also in Diamante to see what he has done down there. Oh, you know, great. In Diamante we have murales and whatever. And we have his sculptures every now and again mm -hmm. on the seafront or wherever. So mm -hmm. you will notice his beautiful work throughout this part of Absolutely. Italy. Lovely. Well, much success to you. It's beautiful work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I will let beautiful Lucia tell everybody's um, entree today. So these are pacchieri that are made with pistachio, dry tomatoes, uh, ricorda mi ingredienti, asparagus and bacon. Bacon. Oh, it looks this so good. This is what myself and Justine Yes, chose. we got that. It looks decadent. Yeah. 
and beautiful Claudia. Then we have Talia Talia, which is fresh pasta homemade with uh, mm -hmm. mushrooms called porcini. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Looks beautiful. And Marco got that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, oh, he's there. <laughs> Delicious. And Michael got a gnocchi. Yeah. Then we have gnocchi that is homemade Ooh, yeah. pasta with uh, potatoes inside and uh, it has nduya which is the spicy um, spreadable uh, kind of uh, like, specialty um, from Calabria. Salami yeah, so it's it's a, a sita but it's called, yeah. Then we have Oh, the, the, fla uh, the flowers of the zucchini mm. and uh, yeah, bacon. Oh, it all looks so okay. good. Once again, I wish everyone could smell it. So beautiful. <laughs> Will everyone enjoy? Yeah, bon we appetit. Going to eat. <laughs> no, 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 for you yeah. should try this restaurant. I know we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're laughing because Lucia's like, I'm already. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to film, I'm so but. Sorry. Oh no, it's I still beautiful. It. It's beautiful before. <laughs> <laughs> or delicious sorbet. And you have our tartufo uh, pizza. Uh, pizza. pizza. Oh, tiramisu, yes. Oh, yes. Right. And he has the tartufo uh, pizza. Tartufo pizza. Wow. Yes, with chocolate. Wow. Michael has a sorbet. Um, uh, mandarin mandarin sorbet. sorbet. And then I'm getting the tiramisu as well. The homemade, homemade digestive tomorrow. Fatti riprendere perché lui è l'autore dell'amaro. Amaro si ha fatto lui. He made the amaro. Sono erba. Delicious. It's a digestive done of various herbs and it's done from Gennaro. So the name is Amaro di Gennaro. It's homemade. Delicious. Enjoy. Salute. Salute. Okay, so you say. Mm. Licorice. Licorice. Very delicious. It's so good. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> and then Angelo invited us to the studio. So I will show his studio. And we are in the back lot. Angelo is showing us around. Another cool piece. So cool. Very nice, Angelo. And this is the B&B &B here. Yeah, the B&B. &B. And this is his B&B. &B. Angela was explaining me that all these sculptures are taking are reproduced from sculptures that are in the main cities like Shanghai and uh, China. The chair, for example, oh, is from cool. China. So they reproduced it and they uh, said put it up here. He did his yeah, own did inspirational own reproduction with stone. Yeah. Very nice and lovely. And, and, and uh, all the rooms in the bed and breakfast is uh, done from artists. From the pavements to the paintings and everything. So it's friends of his also, they artists. Oh, very nice. So he has a collective artist community here that helped design. Oh, that's a beautiful hedge. That's similar to ours. I love that. And this is his studio up here. And Angelo is going to give us a private tour of his personal art studio on the grounds. So we will show you when we are inside. And we are inside Angelo's studio. What a nice space. Oh, I thought they were real people there. <laughs> yes, what a large space. Very nice studio, grand. Oh, Justin, bless your heart. It's pronounced grande. These statues have sold to a private collector in the United States at 8,000 euros each. Aren't they gorgeous? And there's some of his latest work. <laughs> they look like mannequins, but they are Statuary of men. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice works. I know, I thought they were real people. <laughs> It's always nice to visit artist studios.
cool studio, oh, huh? Very neat. I like this a lot. Awesome. Yeah. All the work's in progress. Look at the men over here. I thought they were mannequins at first. There's three cool. of them. They're really cool. This is very cool. All right. Cool stuff. Very inspiring. I like them, yes. I like the wall pieces. They're very yeah. pretty. It's got a very nice space. I like the turquoise one up there. Yeah. That is very pretty. And beautiful Lucia's holding the sign. Angelo's um, work is currently on exhibition in Matera all the way through the 31st of October this year. So you can see his gallery showing there. So everybody's getting their picture taken with his beautiful sculptures. So if you are in Matera, be sure to visit his beautiful presentations and exhibition. Lovely. And you make a lovely model holding that sign, gorgeous. <laughs> And also, you have an exciting career past in yachting and fashion industry exactly. marketing. We have had so much fun hearing about your exciting life. Yes. Now you are here, in sell, fashion, sell, fashion, yes, fashion, and yachting around the world. Yes, and now in beautiful Calabria and our Riviera del Cedri. But it's amazing friends, <laughs> thanks to Justin and Michael. Oh, we just love you. We have so much fun with you. Yeah. <laughs> so, look, so much, so much fun ahead. And so happy to have everybody get to have your reality skills, show them around any of their house needs in Riviera de Chedri and Scalay and all the surrounding cities. <laughs> you are so charming. You are so charming. It has been such fun. So be sure to visit the beautiful exhibition once again in Matera. Spent such a lovely time in the gallery. Beautiful work, Angelo. Very nice. And how kind Angelo is signing a book for us. Yes. That's very seen a beautiful book. <laughs> he has his own book, which is the story of him and a lot of his beautiful works. Michael, go receive and tell him thank you from us both in Italian, Michael. Grazie mille. Grazie, Grazie mille. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so lovely. You could show the beautiful book. So lovely. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> Grazie mille, Angela. <laughs> As we know, my delightful artist husband is always busy producing about one work a day at least. Yes, so, I'm addicted to it. Yes, and your latest... Uh, um, so I've done three different ones here that are more like um, fantasy, magical, and I want to go over them with you. This one I just did because I was thinking of the moon and how pretty it'd be to have a lady dressed in pink on the moon. So, so cute. there's really no other meaning than that, but I think she's very pretty. Yes, yeah, she's adorable. Um, these two I did for multiple reasons. One, I've always liked fairies. And so, you know, you have a fairy in a silhouette of black here and a fairy in a silhouette of white there, exact opposites. Um, and each one of these represent two of the different elements. So here you've got water and fire, which are perfect contrast to each other. Uh, water reminds us to be emotional and fire helps us to find passion. This one, um, stay grounded by the earth and also reach for your dreams, which is something that is dictated through the element of air. Nice work, sweetheart. Thank uh, you very much. And if anybody's interested, I will go ahead and post a link to my art pal account where you can buy these and all my other paintings at the bottom of our info for YouTube. They're beautiful, proud of you, honey. Thank you. Like I said, Michael creates about one a day, so. They just get cranked out here and all are unique. So proud of you, sweetheart. Thank and you. don't forget, it was last Christmas. Michael started <laughs> his watercolor journey with thanks to John and Michelle's beautiful gift of his first watercolor yes. set. And look at how far you've come. It's I love it. I short do. time. Mm -hmm. Keep them coming. Thank you. Proud of you. Love you. Love mm -hmm. you more. Wow, you guys. Hope you've had as much fun as we have. And hope Lots we're, fun. wherever <laughs> you're enjoying your summer, hope it's glorious and wonderful. Absolutely. We're going to say the same thing we always do, you guys. Bocce, bocce. Bocce, bocce. And love you all. dare to dream. <laughs> Thank Ciao. you for spending your time with us. We love you. Hey there, everyone. Please be sure to check out our merchandise, now available and in a lot of new styles. Please go to www.prego-italia.com and click the merchandise link. Hey everyone, so we have exciting news. We are now on Patreon and you can find the link to that right here below. 
There will be the info for you to find us. Patreon, we actually, in advance, want to thank you very much for your patronage. Thank um, you. Your support will enable us to grow this channel to where we hope it gets to be and also enable us to travel throughout Italy and share many more experiences with you. So thank you in advance. Baci, baci. Baci.